and launch an application. This integrates very, very well. We'll do uh, PowerPoint. This integrates very, very well with AppV, and you can see down here in the bottom right real quickly, we're launching Microsoft Office PowerPoint because those applications are actually being delivered through application virtualizations from Microsoft. So this is a very tightly integrated with Microsoft technologies, and it will work very, very well with them. So these applications are, are available, and they're centrally managed and virtualized. They're coming over as well. So it, it's contacted the, uh, the store. So now it says, OK, Drew, you have these applications available. We make them available there. We also make them available here on the start menu. So if I go here and look, oh, there are my, those are the applications that I use every day. So this goes to whole self-user provisioning, saying we're going to give you access to these applications, but you go and select what you want to do your job. So I can go and start uh, Word, and it's going to connect, and it's actually going to go and launch um, application virtualization from AppV as well. So, so Microsoft Word, we're delivering for, through AppV from Microsoft. And then I will run Autodesk. I can also launch the applications from here. Autodesk Design Review. So this is an application that's going to be coming over from ZenApp. We didn't want to run this inside the virtual desktop. We're actually going to run this separately, like many of you might do in, in ZenApp today. Now it's asking me how I want to allow access to the environment. OK. And then it's going to launch Autodesk Design Review 2011. Really don't know how to use this application, so I'm not going to try. <laughs> not even going to pretend, but I know it's a beast of an application. So this works. We have many customers using the engineering, um, AutoCAD, um, CATIA, you name it, PAX applications and healthcare. We can get most of these applications working, and they work well. Um, personalization. So let's personalize this back, this, this desktop. Um, just go and do something with the background, do something different than what's there today. Let's just do this. So save changes and look, now my back my background is new. And that's the personalization that the users require. And there's this application finally launching. Sorry for the delay. But this is actually running in a in an environment on Zen app. So this goes kind of to the end user experience. And remember, I talked about all the benefits that we've done and advancements that we've done. I hope it's coming through in the uh, go to meeting. But here on my environment, it's very, very smooth. I'm able to rotate this and um, get the user experience I might, I might look for. Let me see if I can uh, zoom. We'll zoom in. This is the how the application is actually working on my machine. I'm able to zoom in like I normally would. It's very smooth, very seamless to me as a user. It looks like it's running locally. So I'll minimize that. Don't know what that is. Sorry. Um, so if I was to go and log out right now, I'm going to force a log off. We're logging off of the Windows 7 environment. I'm going to log into Windows XP. You can see that, too. And then we'll come back to Windows 7. You can see my background is the same. All that, uh, all that is there was the same. So let me go back to my home desktop here. And let's launch Windows XP. Should be, look very, very similar. It's going to have a different background, obviously. Um, one question I get a lot is, if we move from XP to Windows 7, can we? Is this a viable way to migrate? And the answer is definitely yes. Many, many, excuse me, customers are doing that today. They are running XP on their their clients. 
they've got older clients that can't run Windows 7, but they need to upgrade. This is a very viable way to turn that XP machine into a Windows 7 machine. You know, with just a login, they're able to get to a full Windows 7 desktop, and they're off and running. So um, instead of going out and buying all new PCs, many customers are starting to look at desktop virtualization to facilitate that Windows 7 upgrade and deliver virtual desktops to them instead of just new physical and spending money on that. So we'll go out here. Still logging in. Oh, there it goes. So we will go and select more applications here as it logs in. Similar exact concept. It should be the same because it's talking back to um, the Citrix receiver. Oh, there it goes. So we should be able to go and see our applications. The profile is different on this on Windows 7 as it is on Windows uh, XP. So the preferences are not going to be the same, unfortunately. But we are trying to work on that as a way to facilitate migrating from Windows XP to Windows 7 very seamlessly. So the same profile or as much as possible can be moved from one OS to the other. So, um, so now it's logging in and saying, oh wait, we've got three applications now that I contacted the store. These are available. So I stand corrected. I apologize. Um, so if I go and launch this, this should come over and be exactly where I was last time as I logged off, unless the application actually logged off. We will see very quickly. There it is. It's exactly where I, where I came from. So this is the ability, because we're separating the OS from the applications, this application is actually running back on a Zenapp server. I logged off my Windows 7 desktop logged into Windows XP, launched the app again, and it came back exactly where it was last when I left, left off. So very powerful um, tool and gives you a lot of flexibility to do upgrades and allow the users to move from machine to machine. Um, what else do we show today? One more real quick. Here is another ZenApp desktop. So this is traditional Citrix, traditional terminal services, ZenApp presentation server, MetaFrame, whatever you've known Citrix as for 20 years now. This is a Windows 2008 R2 desktop. And this is a very, very viable VDI or virtual desktop offering for users. And this goes back to the whole point of all users are not the same. If many of your users are very task oriented or they really don't need a lot of customizations, they just get into a few applications every day and do their job, this desktop experience can work for them. And very similarly, you can see I go and I can run my office. It's going to come over just like it did on the others. It's going to use application virtualization from Microsoft App B. And I've got a very, very similar experience to what I had on Windows 7. There are actually ways, there's a user experience theme that you can put on your Windows 2008 server to actually make it look just like Windows 7. We've got many customers doing that today. They're rolling out Windows 2008, but make it look like Windows 7. The users have no idea it's not Windows 7, and they were able to deliver that Windows 7 look and feel from a traditional ZenApp environment that, uh, for the users. So very, very powerful and able to deliver this desktop to other users.